Hello guys, welcome to Efom TV. My name is Efom Hine. It's another beautiful sunny day here on another farm. And I'm bringing you greetings from a very far place of our base. We are at Tikobo number one, popularly known as T1, closer to half a sin. So we are in the western region of Ghana. And where we are right now is Jomo Farms. And you, you'll be wondering why we are very far off our base today and you you can see why we are here. We are still on the serious animal farm campaign. We want everyone to get into any form of animal farming as possible. So here at Jomo Farms, already there's a piggery that has been set up. And today we are setting up or we are completing the setup of a 2000 capacity snail farm. So let's get inside. So we are almost complete. There are still a few works that needs to be done. But as you can see, we start, we've grown the crops. The irrigation is up and running. And this is how we do it on every snow farm that we work on. Um, um, our irrigation system is complete. We've done the um, pathway. There's a little work that is going to be done on the pathway. But as you can see, the crops have been grown, they started coming up. We're going to wait for between six to eight weeks for the crops to come up fully before we stock our snails. So I just wanted to show you the update of this farm. Uh, it's been an exciting journey coming all the way from Accra to this uh, part of Ghana. And you know, we like to travel. We like to show you what's going on in different parts of Ghana. And if you are coming from Accra through Cape Coast, through Takrade, up until you get here, you realize that there's a lot of things that are going on. There are a lot of farms that people are setting up. And um, notable amongst them that I should um, point out is one, rubber plantation. There are a lot of rubber plantations on this stretch. And there's a, a major rubber company on this part of um, Ghana, which is called Grail. Um, another plantation that you should know is coconut plantation i mean it's all over the place everywhere you go you can see a coconut plantation uh, people are growing coconut and using it for different forms of you know products and i hear a lot of people also coming from even outside ghana as far as nigeria to come into ghana to buy coconut so if you're outside ghana these are all opportunities that you can you know um get into rubber plantation coconut farming and animal farming and that's one thing that you should and this is a hotspot for pig farming because there are a lot of people who consume piggery here yesterday we were here yesterday yesterday we had pig today this morning we had we've had fufu and pork every everywhere you pass there's um some um pork meats going on for kebab for food and all of that so we are in a season that i should not let you know we are in a dry season and as a snail farmer, seasons matter a lot. So if you, we get in the dry season like this, one thing that you should, should take note of is the environment of the snails. You know, snails like wet, humid places. You know, moist, humid. But as soon as we get into the dry season, you know, the weather becomes very dry. And one thing that snails do when the weather becomes dry, is they hibernate. And that process is called aestivation. So as soon as they sense that the weather is becoming dry and then they won't get the moisture or the humidity as they used to, they like to curl back into their shell and then create or produce a whitish substance to cover the entrance of their shell or the mouth of the shell. In that case, they go into hibernation and when it happens like that snails can isolate for as long as six months seven months and you don't want that as a commercial snail farmer because in the period when they are hibernating there's no productivity they are not going to lay eggs they are not going to be able to you know get eggs to hatch and all of that so you want to prevent isolation as much as possible and this is how you prevent isolation on your farm one it, you need to make sure that there is frequent water sprinkling i mean 
you can see we have our sprinklers here you need to make sure that as soon as you get into the dry season as a snow farmer you are watering your greenhouse as much or as frequent as possible and so as soon as as you keep watering and watering the slaves will not feel that sense of dryness so they will not feel the environment so they will not activate so that is one key point of preventing activation unfortunately on this farm or even on my farm you don't have snails activating so i can't show you um real life pictures now but i'm sure some of you might have seen what i'm talking about as soon as you see that whitish substance covering the mouth of the snails it means that it's time to take action to prevent the snails from activation so one you need to sprinkle as much water as possible and as frequently as possible to prevent that snail the snail sensing that dryness in the environment two if the snails are already activating or in their process of activation you need to pick them out from the greenhouse now this is how you, you you're going to treat it you pick them out of the greenhouse you find a big bowl and put water in then you put the snails which are activating in that big bowl of water and then you can use your hand to gently rub off the whitish substance that is inside uh, covering the mouth okay so you use your hand to gently rub off that whitish um, substance gently rub off that whitish substance to a point where you see that all of it is gone and you leave the snails in the water for about 20 30 minutes or so you see that with time they begin to move or it activates them to come out of their shell and then your your job is done so if you are a snail farmer in this very dry season and you see that your snails are going into hibernation it is time to take action because the reason why we advocate for um, you know domestication of snails whatever housing method that you want to use whether it's the greenhouse method whether it's the pen um, block pen method that you want to use is because you want to ensure productivity throughout the year you know in the wild snails produce according to season so in the dry season like this it's very difficult to come by snails to pick even if you go into the forest because of this general sense of dryness the snails all are hibernating so if you go into the bush it's difficult to get them and if snails become very expensive during this season so if you are in Accra, you are in I mean Kumasi, every part of Ghana you realize that the snails are very expensive now and so as a commercial snail farmer you want to ensure continuity in your snail production so you don't want the snails to hibernate to reduce their lay of eggs and therefore um, reduce the eggs that you um, can get to hatch so this is what um, education or information that I can bring to you, all our snails farmers. If you have any comments, you have any questions, you can give, um, leave it in the um, comment box and then we'll get back to you. This is a foam TV. I keep saying that if today is your first time of watching this channel, please click on the subscribe button, share this video, I mean, give us a comment, like, and then recommend it to some other friends to, to also get in touch and if you want a beautiful ultra modern greenhouse like this you know who to contact our numbers are on the screen you can call us and then let's discuss the project that you want to do this is a foam honey i'm glad to bring you this information every now and then as much as i can and i hope together we can build our country we can build africa through farming thank you very much for watching this video and hope to see you on another one of our beautiful videos entertaining videos and very educative videos another time see you again bye bye <laughs>